What's up guys, just got back from my MMA session. So I'm keeping up the morning routine, it's going really great. Uh, I want to ask you if you are still doing the challenge with me, the reading for 30 days challenge. I'm doing it, I'm at like page 120 I think, in my book, uh, A Week and the Giant Fit In. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, let's do the daily updates. So I have been working on the coaching cards, so I'm making this huge resource where I'm putting everything that I know about self-improvement, self like productivity, business, all of these different topics that I put in like different like cards. So it's like I will have pretty much everything that I ever learned on YouTube from books, from my own experience, from my clients' experiences in one uh, Notion document. So that will be pretty insane. So I'm working on that and I'm making pretty good progress in that because I'm able to literally in school do it when there is something that doesn't really matter happening like in the class or whatever. So I sometimes bring the laptop or just work on my phone and uh, I'm making progress in that. So yeah, I mean, the MMA sessions, I really love them. So if you are still not doing any sort of martial art, definitely go for it. Because even if you are bad like me, you can still feel amazing going there and making progress, obviously. So yeah, it's something that I can't recommend, couldn't recommend more because it's really, really good. I haven't seen any like downside to going to MMA compared to not training any sort of martial art. So you don't need to do MMA, you can do whichever martial art you want. But yeah, it's pretty interesting. So regarding the morning routine, it's it's pretty incredible. So I'm waking up at six, doing Wim Hof breathing, meditation, gratitude journaling, working out, cold shower, hygiene, and then going to school. It's it's insane. Like it's so fantastic because I get pretty much all self improvement habits done uh, before the day even starts normally. So that's that's fantastic. And by the way, uh, last video that I made, like how I was able to stop procrastinating or whatever I titled it, uh, there was a guy who left a comment like, if you need to get stuff done, just get the stuff done. The morning routine doesn't matter. Like it can just uh, give you a full sense of productivity, which is technically not far from true. So um, listen up. So here's the thing. Um, you can't really think that you will become a millionaire by having a morning routine and doing self-improvement because like you're not earning any like money or making any significant progress in like your career by doing a morning routine. But here is a very important thing. So firstly, to be happy in life, to be healthy, to live a long and good life, you don't actually need to like be insanely productive. You actually need to just be healthy and have good mental health and look good and like all of these kinds of things and like be healthy. So, you actually just need the morning routine and these good habits to actually live a good life. You don't actually need to, oh, now I need to grind to earn $1 million. You don't actually need to do that. But you need to have a good physical and mental health and to have good habits that are like, will keep you in check. So it's like, yeah, you won't get rich by doing the morning routine stuff like meditating, doing the cold shower and stuff like that. But you will feel so much better and you will live a so much better life if you do it compared to if you don't. And one important, really important thing. Some people, like for example, Alex Hormozzi, uh, Grant Cardone, uh, Brandon Carter, uh, guys like these. They were able, and like Andrew Tate also, they were able to literally like say, fuck everything, I will sit down and make a million dollars right now. But we aren't able to do that because if we were, we wouldn't be watching this video right now. Like, you see what I'm talking about. So, if you want to achieve big success, but you aren't like one in a million in terms of like, I was born to just like work and earn billions without having anything else happening in my life that will boost me towards that goal. Then like, fair enough, if you, if you were born like Andrew Tate, you don't need like reading books to become rich. But if you weren't, born like him or these other guys that I mentioned. Having a morning routine and good habits to improve your mental health, your physical health, your focus abilities, your like mental power, it will help you so much that you wouldn't believe me. Like reading and meditating alone, these two things, will help your mental health and your like how you see the world, your beliefs, your values, uh, so much that you can literally succeed in life just because of these two things. Because like they will teach you how to do some things, how to take action, how to 
be consistent on these things that are really important because like you can think like fuck the morning routine i could just be productive and not do any of these like useless habits they won't make me rich just doing the task will yeah try that try that try only doing the task yeah go for it if you can like do it and become a millionaire before me like fair enough well done but i don't think you can do it like i'm just being honest like you are much more likely to actually succeed if oh it's a lot of messages you are much more likely to succeed if you are just like improving your life overall all the time making progress all the time and like after enough time you will achieve the success if you are able to never use any self-improvement habits you will succeed like you will have money and stuff like that but still you might have bad mental health stress you might live less you might look like shit like i wouldn't trade my life for uh, a millionaire who is fat unhealthy he has some health problems fuck these messages dude what the hell uh i wouldn't trade my life for that because i'm jacked i'm healthy i have good mental health i'm improving every day i have great sleep and i have great habits and i'm improving other people's lives and that's making me fulfilled so like having a few other a few extra million would be great like oh my god that would be great but i wouldn't trade everything that i currently have for only the millions and do nothing else so i think you should go for everything like have the good habits have the morning like do this do your... like let me throw the phone away so just like you can make the, the decision for yourself but if you want the highest chance the highest chances of succeeding like what does it cost you to do the morning routine like is that is it really that hard like you might need like half an hour or an hour to do it like maybe even two hours at max like it's not that hard right because you wouldn't be able to do 12 hours of deep work anyway yeah so it's like you're not wasting time doing any self-improvement habits and even if they give you a false sense of productivity it's not false because do doing those habits is productive working out going to the gym is productive meditating is productive reading is productive like yeah it is productive like not reading harry potter but like reading a great book so yeah i mean i don't need to talk about this anymore if you got it nice if you don't want to do it like you are the one making the decision here but i gave you my recommendations so yeah yeah guys see ya